안녕하세요. 조수입니다. 감사합니다. Okay, I wanted to check out. Uh, <laughs> I, I was I forgot like when this new single from Oh My Girl was supposed to drop. So I was um, in the meantime, I was like, let me check out another track because I've only done one. I I did Dun Dun Dance uh, as the first Oh My Girl like uh, uh, reaction uh, breakdown and everything, and then. Um, I hadn't done anything since then, and so I was like, well, let me check out another one, you know, just in between. And so I did um, Real Love, which was a really, really just a great, tr it was so much fun, dude, that the bass line was incredible. Um, and, and when I uh, got done with that, it was like uh, later that day or the next day or something, it was like, oh, look, there's the, there's the new uh, song. So I was like, ah, man, I was, my timing was a little bit bad. But then I was like, well... I'll just do both, you know what I mean? Like, and I'll and I'll check this one out too. And so, um, I thought it would, I thought it would be interesting to see what this one sounds like, and you know what they're going for here. See if they are um, sort of maintaining their maybe established style or sound. You know what I mean? Um, because they're a group that came out in 2015, so. You know, but third gen, uh, basically same time frame as twice, you know, um, and they uh, had like such a very nice feel good type of vibe. The stuff I've heard is like a lot of very poppy sort of disco type stuff, you know, like drawing from a lot of those uh, genres, um, but doing it very well. Like it's all very, very balanced, right? The the whole approach to to uh, the songs and. Uh, uh, all the different uh, compositional parts and, and some really great vocal work too um, and I thought well what if there's maybe a little bit of a change uh, let's see because the aesthetic looks very you know contemporary like it like it's, it's, it's very like what's going on now because uh, for me oh my girl they're okay so they're a third gen group but they kind of have a lot of this like second gen charm uh style like you, they kind of seem like a little bit more mature you, you know what i'm say, saying like um uh it, they like especially uh re real love right like dun dun dance is fun uh but there's something about their vocals and something about their their style and stuff it, it, it's, it's almost like there are a little bit more mm, you know inspired by the second generation i guess it's probably like the best way to put it but um i want to see you know if they're following that uh, being consistent or maybe if they're maybe altering a little bit of things here and there to follow some more recent trends i guess you could say but anyways let's check out summer comes A chromatic scale descending Chimes.
sunglass cam no yep. Mama got to keep your pants on. As a cat that I choke my chin like it. Feel me in it, so in a chill like it. Padami puru ni chayo ni chale ni chikin chale ni po in it. Re okay, so really fun. Uh, kind of a. Um, I didn't have the subtitles on for that. I turned them off for the uh, A two K, uh, recording. The um, okay. It, it's. It's very familiar in terms of like the oh my girl stuff that I have heard because again it's very limited, right? Like uh, I do have to. I do have to. Um, be objective about that because I haven't heard like a whole lot, right? But oh, no, it's it sounds still very third gen actually. Um, there's um, it, it's interesting they drop the like it's not just that the beat drops out right at that little sort of coda like the the entire mix drops out and this is like silence, but you can count the beat. And you get those pickup uh, uh, beats right at the at the end of that bar, and then you know it comes back in uh, very very clean and very precise, and just sort of picks up that groove. It has that great type of disco, you know, bass groove is going on still. They they still have that as part of it. The mix is an interesting sort of blend of like synth. And also instrument sounds, a lot of the sort of like band instrument sounds in here. There's definitely uh, like a big synth bass, but there's also a played bass guitar part. And there's synth rhythm, but there's also actual electric guitar parts being played. In, in, in particular, I think it might have been at the, the second verse uh, when all the, the zombies are there. And there was a really gnarly like... Uh, uh, pretty like a pretty moderate uh, distortion distortion distorted guitar part that was featured in there it actually had a lot of bite on it that was uh, that was interesting a lot of bite cut zombies it, like I mean you know it it, it was um, it works like right where it's used you know what I mean but it's a it's a fun blend of these different sounds the rap section stood out and again it's because I don't know you know I haven't gotten that deep into the oh my girl discography and and their work overall but i think this is the most like the biggest rap section that i've heard you know like real love i don't it doesn't stand out to me i, I you know i'm sure that there was a little bit of flow in there but it was much more you know melodies and harmonies much more leaning on the that sort of sung uh, uh, song style and but this was a actually a really solid like although that feels much more contemporary like if i think of like uh the the uh itsy song that just dropped uh, um none of my business like the, it, it reminded me a little bit of that style a little bit of that uh, duration also uh and and there's elements in here you know i don't know how long it's been around but like when she's in that uh, one setting with the bunny ears hat that sort of diner scene that she's in uh you know that that reminds me a lot of like new jeans you know that that reminds me of <clears throat> makes me think fourth gen stuff right so that's why i initially thought like maybe this is following some of those trends and i think i think it i would say it it features some but it's not like invested in that completely you know okay the the videos it, it's it's very fun it's kind of this pastiche of like gamer stuff and uh 
you know, a lot of these colorful um, uh, sort of like set pieces. And it, it, it's it's interesting, though. It, you know what I mean? Like it's got it's got some fun ideas for sure. A lot of like some of this quirky stuff. But, but you know, but there's a lot of like feel good stuff in here, too, which is that's very oh my like from what I know, when I think, oh, my girl, I think of like very feel good type of. Uh, 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 vibes, you know what I mean? Like it's very, very upbeat, very positive, and overall very pleasant. And this use here, this little descending line, it's a chromatic, right? So half steps we're talking about. Um, it's always used to give a nostalgic or dreamy like feel, right? Like is a if you were watching um, a sitcom or something, you know, they might use that sound. When somebody's like having a flashback, you know, like I remember it now, -da 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 -da. and you know that you get that little wavy, distorted effect on the, and then it cuts to the flashback scene or whatever. Uh, so it's just kind of setting it up as this a uh, bit of a fantasy, a bit of a flight of fancy, you know what I mean? So it's about to get fun and not necessarily try to be too grounded or too real. Oh, also, there are, I mean, I know that Oh My Girl started with six members. Um, one of the members had left for, a, uh, I guess, for a while. But then I see now that there are six members again. So uh, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to figure out, like, what's going on with that. Did that, that member return or is there another member or what's going on? Because I don't know enough, you know. <laughs> It's a very saturated mix, like right from the start. Like there's, there's some uh, percussion. The per actually the drums sound more like an ele electronic sound, you know, uh, like somebody's hitting the pads instead of as opposed to a kit sound. But then you have synth bass. You have synth little arpeggios that are going on, uh, basically to fill out the rhythm section. You have all those sort of sweeping riser effects too that are that are going on. There's some compression that's being like ramped up and then sort of dialed back you know as the as a phrase sort of extends uh and so it has that but it's very it, it is very much like moving into a dream or moving into some sort of fantastical sequence i guess <laughs> It's just very cute. It, like, when I saw the thumbnail, you know, I was like, it, 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 but it's, it's very cute. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it's cool. And then, and then this style right here, like see, see these, the way the, the fits, right? Like the dresses, the outfits, I, this, uh, they're very, they, it, they do it well. Like, I guess is, is what I, I would say, right? They, they're they are of course very they're very lovely right they're very cute um, but they when they do this sort of clean you know kind of dressed up sort of look they they really they really pull it off quite well like they're, they're quite a effortlessly elegant type of group um a big synth bass sound right like the sort of this first verse and kind of a sparse or light uh, uh crispy type of percussion like it's not big snare hits or kicks or anything that's going on right it's it's uh really just a light very brittle sounding percussive hits that are going on on there on the subdivision it's a little bit more syncopated right M probably more eighth notes occasional little 16th in there you know just to kind of add a, a little bit of a shuffle or swing feel to it um and then some more of those synth uh, arpeggios to write so it's kind of like it was a big swirling, like, you know, blend of all these things, right, to, to introduce the song. And then it kind of really spread out a little bit as the verse began. Now those instrument sounds have come in. 
they're like it's a it's a really great groovy sort of bass line and you can hear this funk guitar also goes relatively clean at this point uh later on there's more of a like a punkish kind of guitar sort of riffiness that's going on but this is very funk disco you know very dance styles right this or uh dance style oriented type of uh, uh playing here and um they kind of ease right in with uh with the other stuff that's going on in the mix so it really starts to fill in and sort of substantiate more as it's uh making its way through this uh through this first verse section the vocals are always very clean like they're they're uh, they're sound very sweet all the time like this every every oh my girl song right and now there's it's interesting too because when the rap section comes around she has a little bit more of that like airy you know delivery kind of like uh that's what reminded me of say none of my business the itsy track or some nuging stuff because it's more the emphasis is not on like this super clean clarity of pitch and stuff it's it feels more throaty almost like you know like it's coming from down here a little bit uh it definitely feels a little bit more like intimate i guess you could say so it completely drops out i mean completely like there's not it's not like you, any part of the mix uh is even sustained and then they come back in with the vocal too uh these sort of pickup uh notes here it's interesting i didn't catch it the first time around but it's coming back in with the vocal it's leading with the vocal um that's going to allow the mix to really expand a lot once you know all, everything comes back in um what was i going to say Oh, lots of synth, uh, like, like a like a keyboard sound also, right? Like a like someone's doing synth chords, but um, really outlined, as if they're, they're like piano chords essentially. <laughs> <laughs> so the clown is obviously the um the antagonist here it's just interesting it's a strange setting right it's it, it looks like a hospital or something uh and then there's this clown right and they're it's almost like a, one of those dungeon crawler rpgs right where like the enemies just sort of pop up in the screen and then like there's a a sound effect you know or like maybe a little shake graphic effect that indicates that you've done damage and then you know it, it's a it's a very interesting concept it's very like two-dimensional like it kind of the, the the framing the perspectives and everything on this makes it less emphasis on like the z-axis for sure even the clown when he gets hit and some of those like drawn effects that are that are sort of uh framing the different people in the shots right the different characters i guess you could say it's uh it's it's a fun it's a it's a really fun change <laughs> So we had a change up in the chord progression a little bit too. It seems like um, either that or it's just because like they were using power chords kind of. But that that driving sort of, you know, very punkish, very gritty, right? All of a sudden the guitar sound comes in 
and then uh, there's still the, the uh, sort of piano chords, like that synth sort of keys sound that's going on in the mix. And then everything, I think, really once the uh, guitar part kind of drops out, we're not dealing with like power chords. Now these other rhythm parts fill in and they're, you know, definitely not power chords. Like, like you're getting a, thir uh, a third that's in there to... Um, really indicate the the chord quality and stuff and so uh it, it it becomes lighter and a little bit more easier as the chords actually become full uh and and it feels like we've changed up a little bit more than that like i, I want to say the chord progression is not exactly the same here in this sort of pre-chorus section <laughs> Nice build up. A build up to the entire mix, like dropping out. Um, it's, for, it's it's very fun. If it were any, if if the tempo were any lower, I think it would be a little. You know, it would stand out too much. It, like because it's too long, right? It's too long of a pause. But this is a a very good tempo um, to allow for that to happen. <laughs> That's that flow, right? That delivery that she has here. It's a little bit breathy. There's a little bit of like vocal fry right at the end of those lines. Like it's more casual, right? It's more measured. Um, listen to like... Um, uh, in none of my business, Ryujin's uh, second, uh, like the the real big rap verse, right? She kind of raps in the second verse, but the way she shifts her tone and everything in the third uh, verse when it's like the more substantial rap section, and it's kind of like, like it has a similar feel, you know? Hey, this is something that I, this is one of those ways where it's kind of featuring a little bit more of like the contemporary fourth gen type of like style you know um uh but it's not bad though like it's not doing it in a uh in a way that doesn't serve like both the track and the basic idea of that kind of delivery like <laughs> They're adorable, aren't they? They're adorable, right? Oh, my girl's just adorable. Look at that. Everything from bunny ear beanies to uh, video game pastiche, like elements, uh, 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 and even like a, a small little uh, uh, poodle, right? Like, like they, there's so much feel-good stuff in it. And oh, my girl's just... Uh, they're they're fun like i like every, every oh my girl song that i that i have heard and there's only three i know but each one of them you know make it they make you smile it, it makes you feel good it's like it, you're having fun uh they're they're very they stick to that uh very well like they do they do what they do very well but it's a it's a solid uh track too it's a great mix uh, I love the blend of the uh, the different 
you know, parts, the played instruments, the synth uh, sounds. Um, definitely like, like heavy on the on the production, right? With all the uh, application of compression and the the uh, various change ups and voicings for you know, like you, even the percussion change like it doesn't it doesn't stick to the same thing across the entire track um incorporating like switching between the synth bass to played bass synth rhythm to played guitar rhythm even and then even varying the guitar stylings right and the bass stylings within that introducing that sort of gritty distorted punk rock kind of feel right for and then you know swapping that out for this very sort of uh, dreamy like uh, 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 synth rhythm uh, chords to come back in dropping the mix out entirely coming back in uh, uh, leading with vocal pickups right to, to, to bring the uh, the chorus back around it's it's a very engaging type of song so it's an engaging mix um, and they had a lot of fun with this. It's, it's fun. It is a fun track. It's a uh, very summery. Um, yeah, it's it's very summery, right? It's a, I mean, that's that's yeah, video games and 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 going to eat food and and I don't know about zombie. Well, I mean, that's video games. Hopefully, your summer is not full of zombies. But if it is, um, you know, hopefully you're you're good at zombies mode um and you can have fun but but uh, this video you know does that it's it's uh man it, it's like this is weird right like look the, it's an ice cream shop but there's a ghost and is it like an eye at the top you know and uh oh they even had the hourglass in there too because that album concept was like the hourglass um it's fun i need to kind of get into oh my girls you know music more I, I need to kind of understand some of their concepts more um but everything generally falls into that very like upbeat feel good type of uh, uh um, style or type of vibe you know but but you know they do it well i they can start to incorporate some of that more contemporary sort of fresh stuff you know uh but at the same time they just have this really natural and classic type of charm to them um it, it, they're they're quite versatile in that regard you know um and they're and they're they're very cute like they're a very very aesthetically pleasing type of group and and their sound too they 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 never sound in, you know anything other than just sweet and and you know like like you want to listen to them you know what i mean you sh you want to hear them uh it's always very very pleasant oh my girl summer comes it's definitely a rich summer type of track and it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun